Hello everyone and welcome to how to install Realism Overhaul in Kerbal Space Program 1.6.1, though this is broadly applicable to earlier and later versions as well. It hasn't changed in a fairly long time, but I decided since people ask, I'll do another video on it. If you're installing with CCAN, you don't need to worry about this. This is assuming for some reason something went wrong with CCAN, or you want to install it manually because it's actually not that hard. Uh, I want to dispel the notion that it's really complicated to install Realism Overhaul because people get the weirdest ideas about this. Uh, mainly, I guess by looking at this page, there seems to be a lot of mods here, but you don't need all of them. So the first thing is, of course, uh, getting 1.6.1 into a clean folder. And if you are installing, uh, if you have a Steam installation, you want to copy it to a separate folder, ideally named like KSPRO161 test, for instance, uh, to indicate what the install is all about instead of trying to mod your Steam install, or as I'm doing here, just uh, unzip to a clean folder if you've got it from somewhere else. Okay, having done that, I generally like to copy a settings file from another install. The settings file uh, has changed a bit uh, from version to version, but I have a settings file from another 1.6.1. And then basically, if you want the short version of this, and some people wanted the short version, you just install all these. You have to install all those first. Then you need to make sure to get the actual Realism Overhaul mod, and that you get from this link here. And then you should install Real Solar System and Real Solar System Textures. And normally I recommend TAC Live Support and MechJeb and Procedural Parts and Procedural Fairings. Though that the procedural parts are less necessary if you get SSTU, which is the one mod in all of these that I actually suggest you get. Um, if you want the number two mod, it'd be Real Engines here. So those will be the first two you should get. If you're doing historical recreations, you can replace SSTU with FASA. And that's only if you're doing the American rockets. And if you want other historical rockets, Radernik has them here. And so, yeah, basically that's the short version of all this. Now, if you're having trouble with that, I'm going to go through and do it one at a time. And so we're just going to take it from the top here. Now, uh, the link down here for Realism Overhaul itself, see this Realism Overhaul GitHub release page, is going to lead you to this uh, GitHub, so github.com ksbro. This page is simply the forum page on the KSP forums for Realism Overhaul. And so I'll, I'll link this in the video description along with as this page as well. This has the Realism Overhaul GitHub. This is where the mod actually is. And also, this is RP1, RP0, whatever you want to call it, the career mode for Realism Overhaul. I'm not going to install that today because I don't know. It should be up there for 1.6.1. Let's just quickly take a look at what's going on here. No, so let's not do that. Uh, we'll install everything else. But FASA, Raider Nix mods, Real Heat, everything is here except for the visual stuff, which we'll get to. Okay, so first, Advanced Jet Engines. So I'm going to right click here and this gets me to GitHub and I'm going to download this. Well, I've already downloaded it, but you should download it. And then once you've downloaded it into a folder, hopefully that is properly named so that you don't lose these mods and you can easily reinstall them. So here we have advanced jet engines, game data. It has AJE, solver engines, and old version of module manager, so we'll have to watch out for that. Done. And next, Faramir Space Research continued. Now, do note at the top of the Realism Over webpage, it says they're having issues with Kerbal Joint Reinforcement next. Don't use that. Use Kerbal Joint Reinforcement continued. So just go with all the continueds. <laughs> Let's make that a rule. So download Fermi Aerospace Research 15.9.7 in this case for 1.6.1. Uh, note this, do not overwrite the module flight integrator that comes with Copernicus. So we'll just do Copernicus last. And so Fermi Aerospace Research, game data, modular flight integrator is here. And you see this other module manager. We're going to use that one and not this one. Next is Kerbal Joint Reinforcement Continued. 
and it says it's for all the versions. And in general, Realism Overhaul is not going to be version locked. So uh, for um, 1.7, you can go ahead and use it as well. If you want to try that out. There will be some mods that aren't updated for it, but the core mods will be. So Corbel Joint Reinforcement. And it's just uh, game data here. That's it. Okay, next. Module Manager, we've got Real Shoot. It says 1.3.1, but really Real Shoots hasn't been updated in ages anyway. So we should check though. You can see that here the link for real fuels actually brought us to the 1.3.1 one, but we don't want the back port. We want the real one. So 12.7.4 uh, for real fuels. And let's just double check on the real shoots if there's actually a new one. So you click on that name and then click on releases. And in fact, there is. This just recompiled. It probably would work either way. But let's click this one. So 1.4.7.2 on real shoots. So my mistake, I'm going to delete real shoot here and get the 1.4.7.2 one. And for real fuels, 12.7.4. And so you'll have community resource pack, real fuels, and solver engines. And solver engines will go with the version in real fuels. So going down the list, real heat. Still says 1.3.1, click the name, releases, 1.6, real heat 4.9 is the version. And here there isn't a game data folder, so we just unzip real heat to it. Real plume. Let's just double check, click there, releases. Okay, 11.2 is the current version. Okay, and then smoke screen. And then we have installed the dependencies. It worries me that smoke screen just took us directly to an install link. So let me see if I can get the forum page for that. I see a smoke screen 2.8 in my folders, but I don't know. That's probably not real plumes. I don't know what the situation is, but we'll go with the version that was linked, I suppose. And so that version was 2.7.6.1. So now probably you're going to be wanting to use this with real solar system. So it's not reasonable to, oh, could not find that, great. Well, anyway, this is where this link helps. So I'll put this in the video description as well. Let's just get Real Solar System from here. What we also need is Copernicus. Real Solar System is not gonna work without Copernicus. So here's Copernicus. Releases. Ah, uh, there's a branch off, forked. No, I want the original. So, you could probably find Copernicus on the, um, what you got from the forums. And this is 1.7.1. This is 1.6.1. There apparently existed a 1.6.1-3, and I don't know where that's from. But anyway, I'll try this one that we've got here. And we want the modular flight integrator from this. So we'll overwrite that. And now we can get real solar system. There we go. Real solar system. And in this case, the correct version. So don't use, I don't know if it's a good idea to use the Copernicus link here. That might be different. It says updated 2015. So skip that. Go to the forums, get Copernicus. And real solar system 16.2. 
Okay, and we have real solar system, but that's not sufficient. We need the textures for real solar system. You see, there's a very small file. There's no way it could carry the textures for all the planets. And so we go to RSS textures here. Oops, I did not want a new window. Releases, and you have a choice. 2048, 4096, and 8K. So uh, you need to pick which one is best suited for your video card and your system. All right, so here we have the RSS textures and I'm going with the best quality pack, why not? And I'm going to unzip that into here. It's pretty hefty, you can see nearly a gigabyte. So be wary, maybe start out with the 2K textures first. And you can mix and match if you want to uh, use 2K textures on certain things and you can use 4K textures on something and just keep 8K textures for like Earth, Moon and Mars. I've done that before. Okay, so now we have RSS textures. And finally, we can install Realism Overhaul. So you could click this and it'll go right to it or you can go from this page and click that and it'll take you to the same place and 12.7 uh, is the current version you can see each new version has a lot of fixes because it has to remain compatible with a whole lot of mods That doesn't mean that you have to download all of the mods. <laughs> it has it, it tries to be compatible with a lot of mods, but you don't need to worry about that. So game data, engine group controller, and realism overhaul there, unzip. If you are using FASA or Raider Nix mods, you may want to use the craft files that have already been put together for those. And those craft files are in ships here, VAB. And you can see the FASA files, Reader Nix, and some Tentaras files there. So that's where you get those craft files. Okay, so basically this is a Realism Overall install right now. That has uh, all the requirements. It has Real Solar System, and it has Realism Overhaul itself. Um, at this point, we should definitely try it out. But I'm, I'm just going to run with a few other things. Um, uh, you would probably want Hangar Center. I'm not going to do that right now. You probably want McJib. I'm not going to do that right now. Tag Life Support, I am going to do right now because I feel like that's basically essential. Now this is 1.3.1, so we click on the name up there. Uh, we click on Releases. And 1.6 is indeed a thing. So, yeah, watch out for old links to the older version of the mod. And so this is 0.13.12 for TAC Life Support. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff here. So just get all of that. Um, probably you don't need to overwrite Community Resource Pack. It's Community Resource Pack for a reason. And this, this is all stuff in Community Resource Pack. So I'll just go with the most recent one. There's shared resources, that's all. And finally, it, like I said, if you want one mod with all the parts that you need to build nice rockets, you should get SSTU Labs. And uh, let's make sure that this is a good version. SSTU Labs uh, is very, very frequently updated. Actually, for 1.6, it looks like it's just two versions here. Now, Updated Textures Unlimited, it says it's packaged with it, so you should get Textures Unlimited with that, which is convenient. Uh, Raider Nix Mods needs Textures Unlimited as well, uh, in addition to an animation dependency. You'll have to look at what uh, those mods require. Okay, Game Data, Textures Unlimited, as advertised. We don't need another Community Resource Pack. KSP wheel and SSTU, and the version of Module Manager is the same, so we don't need to worry about that either. Only one version of Module Manager should be in the folder. Now you can make rockets with the stock parts, and I have definitely done that before. But SSTU looks really good these days. 
One thing is that it's a bit short on the Soviet slash Russian engines, and that's what a uh, real engine pack gives you. Real engine pack also has the Raptor engine from SpaceX. And I'm not gonna install that right now, but real engines, uh, you should definitely get it. It's uh, more updated than the Soviet engine pack option. I recommend it over that. Anyway, one other thing that you'll probably want is clouds. And so if we close some of the other tabs, we have uh, Phineas Freak's RSS visual enhancements. You can see this, uh, it has a installation wiki. So if you go to the main RSS visual enhancements, I'll link this in the video description. And then you should check the RSS VE wiki for the installation steps, it says. Click installation. And that'll tell you which version of RSS visual enhancements, which ver version of Copernicus, um, module manager, Eve, and scatter. Now, I got the 1.6.1-2 version of Copernicus. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to be all right. Maybe maybe that's one problem people have been having. Uh, I've got Module Manager. That's the right version. I do not have Eve right now or Scatterer or RSS Visual Enhancements itself. So let's get Eve. Okay, and Eve 1.4.2-2. That's this version. That's good. And it says for 1.4, but again, there's a lot of nice compatibility these days with everything beyond 1.3. So sometimes it won't work, but a lot of times it will. Okay, so that's Eve. We need a scatterer. And then there's these optional things. This is an object enhancement, planet shine, texture replacer. I'm not going to do that. 16K textures are really hefty. I can't do that. Anyway, this says it's updated, but uh, outdated, but it's 1.6. And uh, which version did it say? 0 0.5, 0 0.0540. So that's this. So right now, if there's something wrong, it's probably something wrong with Copernicus being the wrong version. So we're going to watch out for that. And finally, we can install RSS Visual Enhancements to make sure that we get the nice clouds and everything. And so RSS Visual Enhancements 1.6.1, you can also click on it like this and go to releases and you'll get that the same page and we click on that and I'm going to go for the high resolution one but there's a low resolution option as well yeah I have to say I don't know where this mysterious 1.6.1-3 version of Copernicus it's talking about actually is and unlike the other things here it doesn't add a link to it that's a little bit frustrating but we'll see if the version that is available on the actual Copernicus GitHub is sufficient. So RSS Visual Enhancements is just this folder. And at the risk of launching things with everything dumped in at the same time, normally I prefer to add a few mods at a time, like just add these mods first and stuff like that. But we basically created the full deal and I'm going to launch it. Okay, we get the Making History Expansion ad because I didn't actually install the Making History Expansion in this particular install. And otherwise we see Earth in the background, that's a good sign. And we're gonna have to start new sandbox default. Okay, thanks, I've got it. Well, it's nighttime, we can't really see if there are clouds or not. Uh, we might want to replace the skybox with texture replacer. Teflon Mike has a nice skybox. There are, in fact, clouds. Not a whole lot today. Um, wait. Uh, there is a mysterious ball right there. I'm not too sure what that is. Comes in and out of existence. Otherwise, it's looking okay. I'll have to consider that particular ball. Uh, we want to see the tracking station, make sure all the planets are in order. Well, that looks good. Yeah. Uh, there is land under that scatterer effect. That's nice. Now the moon should look like the moon. The moon does look like the moon. Very good. And let's just check Mars. I'm not going to go through all of them. Yes, Mars looks like Mars. 
everything is good, at least so far. So here we have all sorts of parts. Um, the stock parts should be configured for uh, for realism overhaul, as you might expect. So yeah, you can. Uh, some of them are non-RO if they're SSTU, but otherwise. So these are SSTU parts right here that aren't RO, but you've got the Orion command module, which is configured, and of course Apollo. So yeah, you have some options, and Soyuz as well. So let's say we have the Apollo command module. We can use SSTU tanks, which are nice and shiny, and have the recoloring UI so that we can change them to whatever color we want. For some reason, we want green foil. That is doable. Or you can have a preset like black or blue. I don't know who has blue, but okay, blue. All right, they're looking pretty spiffy. I don't want, uh, well, actually, maybe it'll look better with amounts of some kind. But I sort of want to tuck it in. Real Fuels makes it easy. You've put this engine on, and it tells you what fuels are available if you show UI. AJ10190 is this engine right here, so we use that. Uh, the other fuel option that was there was probably for the pod. The pod uses Arizine and N204, which we have here. And probably the wrong amount of that, actually, for Apollo. But anyway, right now it says zero days food, water, and oxygen. Um, I recommend putting some in the pod for them. If you're using TACLED support, I'm surprised TACLED support didn't put food, water, and oxygen in the Apollo command module in the first place. It usually does. So watch out for that. And it seems to have an incorrect amount of electric charge as well. So there's something a little bit wrong about it in this version. In previous versions, it was a little bit better. Um, this is a good enough for now amount of stuff. And the, at least the command module seems to have space for that. And if we add MechJeb, it'll tell us how much delta V. Um, right now, these readings aren't working. But uh, perhaps we should just uh, take it outside, cheat it into space, and see if that's all working right. We have some very basic RCS ports here. Remember, with real fuels, to configure your RCS ports to the right fuel. In this case, this is using MMH and MON3, so that's what we want. And there are tech levels, so you can improve the quality of the RCS ports. And we need to close that UI. So this is just a test. Um, let's see. The engine, this engine does not produce much thrust. Oh, it says lack of pressure. Ah, feed pressure too low. Oh, we've, we've done that thing. So, um, tank type, default, no. Service module, yes. So now we've got the right tank with the, with the pressure. So service module is the one you want if you get that pressure is low. You can check that here. Here it says propellant nominal. And if you don't have it on service module, it'll say feed pressure too low. This is somewhat different with RP0 slash 1, which I, of course has not been updated to 1.6.1. Okay, so now we're good, hopefully. The one quirk about 1.6.1 .1 is the jittery flag. That's the only thing. Throttle up, ignition. Well, it's producing something. I've done something horribly wrong. Oh, why is the food water nostrum not here anymore? Maybe I need to not use Tag Life Support. They're gonna die soon, so we better test this out quickly. Nope. We've got a bit of a problem. 
Okay, in order to fix the smoke screen problem, I switched to smoke screen 2.8. For some reason on the realism overall thread, it uh, links to 2.7.6.1, which was for 1.3, but that needs to be changed now. So uh, do get 2.8 on smoke screen, and that'll fix the plume. Now, the issue of the attack life support thing is a part problem, I think. So with this part, we see it uh, got rid of the food, water, and oxygen for some reason. And I think this is a part configuration problem for realism overhaul. Uh, because here it shows food and uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen and water. Now if it shows them here, why is it not showing them here? Now if it was a general problem with the install, then it would be a problem for all parts. But it's not. Uh, we can see this mark one command pod is fine. Uh, this this one stock command pod is fine. Is it a general problem with SSTU parts? Um, well, this one isn't even configured for realism overhaul. Uh, so, which is weird because I thought it used to be. Oh, there's a, there's a problem, all right. I think it's an SSTU issue here. Uh, we got food, water, and oxygen here, but it's not showing up out here. We use a stock lander can, and we fire up the engine. That looks good. And in space, that looks even better. So we've got it functional. Something about SSTU is not quite working right, so the one mod that I suggested we use uh, doesn't seem to be working quite the way it should, and I think maybe this some configuration name problem because SSTU very frequently changes the names, well at least it used to change the name of things. We will see. But yeah, there's something wrong with that pod. Anyway, I'll try and get down to that, but basically we've got an installation. You could use the stock parts. Uh, you could use procedural parts to build rockets. The engines from SSTU seem to be working just fine. And so you can use those engines and the tanks. The tanks are good. So it's just the pods that will have a problem with the food, water, and oxygen. They don't seem to retain it. It seems to go away all the time. But uh, yeah, resources here. Actually, that's an interesting question. What if we put food, water, and oxygen into an SSDU tank? Sorry, now we're in experimental mode. Now I just want to see if there's any warnings here. Obviously, well, there's, well, we're not doing tech tree anyway, I don't know why that's all there, but um, let's see if we bring out this pod. Nope. I was just looking for some sort of null ref or something that would explain the issue. No, nope. tag light support module started. Oh, and to a good approximation, if you want to fill in the tanks, um, for every 100 units of food, 70 units of water, and 10,000 units of oxygen is normally what I put in. Maybe I should put in carbon dioxide. Well, let's do the test the same way I did before. And there is some supposed to be waste, wastewater, and carbon dioxide left over in there. But anyway, I just wanted to see if there it disappeared from this tank because it is also an SS2 tank. No. Okay, so for SSTU, the tanks are fine. The engines are fine. Uh, it's only the SSTU pods that are sort of weird. So there you have it. That is how you build a Realism Overhaul install. It shouldn't be too difficult. If we want to go through the other mods that are listed as recommended mods, I'll tell you what they're all about as uh, closing things so that you just know what to choose from here on out. Uh, to expand your install if you want to look for something in particular. So, B9 procedural wings, obviously if you're going to be doing planes, and or if you want custom colored fins, because procedural wings you can color them. Connected living space is just a realism thing to make sure that uh, if you uh, put modules together, they actually have a way of transferring kerbals through if you're transferring them. Delta re-entry mainly for more heat shield parts these days. The main functions are in real heat, which we install already. Uh, automatic version checkers, redundant. Uh, MechJab is for the displays. 
and certain other features including the it, it has its own transfer window planner-ish thing uh, when you're in flight uh, procedural fairings obviously for custom fairings procedural parts for custom tanks and sometimes interesting textures RCS build aid uh, you should probably be familiar with that that helps you balance the RCS these we've installed remote tech for communications semi saturation saturable the uh, reaction wheels for real reaction wheel realisms is there they're already nerfed in realism overhaul so tag light support we've seen uh, test flight um, more it for use in career mode really texture replacer mainly for the skybox mainly for the skybox Principia for in body physics but it's very resource intensive um, the magic orbital science for more sciences the little science parts Kerbal attachment system to transfer resources and allow Kerbals to do proper EVAs really and should probably be used with uh, Kerbal inventory system and ScanSat uh, to have satellites scan the surface of various planets AIES airspace is a very old mod parts still work except for the lander legs uh, it's a broad variety of parts uh, the one thing I use in that still are the communication dishes Alcor pod probably the nicest lander can available AT ATK propulsion pack SRBs lots and lots of SRBs atomic age pretty uh, self-explanatory B9 airspace airplane parts uh, community ISS not fully functional anymore I don't think so watch out for that the colliders are iffy constellation essentials have not used uh, cryo engines cryogenic engines I haven't used them FASA for the historical US parts forgotten real engines there are a few specific parts uh, if you want these specific engines that it has uh, then uh, so Vega and um, various other rocket parts that might be missing so FRE um, the engines for the H2 from the Japanese the Rutherford engines for the um, which you call it the electron rocket uh, Viking engines for the Indian rockets and so forth so that's there KW rocketry I only use for the RCS thruster pod and the SRBs these days and uh, launcher pack that's for Falcon 9 and ITS and it has an older Atlas 5 hopefully someday the deltas are gonna come back near future tech lots of stuff especially solar panels and uh, station construction parts niche parts uh, RCS thrusters and small thrusters and some somewhat larger engines like the frigate engine but mostly uh, 30 kilonewtons or less uh, portworth's habitation inflatable habitation pods uh, similar to the Bigelow airspace stuff RLA stock alike long old mod uh, probably don't need it anymore uh, probably SSTU tanks are preferable uh, Soviet engines redundant with real engines real engines has the nicer engine pack in this case and oh, I don't know why they linked the third page of it but okay um, the images do not seem to be showing up here but Super Draco AJ-10 uh, lots of Russian engines here and in fact uh, some of the engines that were included in the niche parts pack but mainly Russian engines except for uh, this should have been Raptor somewhere around I think there's an old thread I think there's a newer thread for real engine pack uh, real scale boosters lots of different rockets uh, Raider Nix mods are self-explanatory by the name um, stock extensions really f only for use with RP0 slash 1 TRB same way Tentara's I've never gotten down to using them in realism overhaul because they're stock alike and redundant with Raider Nix mods and uh, universal storage some uh, interesting stuff you can do on EVAs with that Ben stock revamp changing the stock parts to look a little bit more like the style of realism overhaul so that's a quick run through of all of that but you don't need all of them uh, so it's up to you what you want to use but anyway I think that's about it so thank you for watching this explanation for how to install realism overhaul in Kerbal Space Program 1.6.1 if you have any questions uh, please tell me if you're having any problems make sure that you haven't uh, you add the mods in stages make sure you only add the requirements first and then test it 
But as you can see, even I had a problem, uh, two problems, when uh, running this. So um, some some troubleshooting may be necessary. So uh, and sometimes it's just that the parts are not configured properly, and there's an issue with the configuration from RO or from the mod itself. But anyway, uh, yeah, and I might have done something wrong. So if I did do something wrong, please do tell me. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.